We're going to look at making a simple bracket and we'll look at parent-child relationships. Our bracket will look something like this and we'll be able to change different features like not having a square inset and maybe making that a round extrusion as well. Let's open up a new model. I'm going to right click and create a new component and I'll save this off the bat. I'll rename my component. I'm going to start off with a slot and I'll use a center to center slot. I'm going to place this on the X and Y axis. And I want to hover over the X axis here. And I can click for a distance. I'm going to make this five. Then I'm going to pull my slot up. And this will be the radius of my part. So the radius I'm looking for is uh, one. So this will be a two inch diameter. Now what I'd like to do is center this on this part and I'm going to do that parametrically. So I will create a dimension from this point to this point and I'm going to leave it. I know that the center to center is five, but I'm going to go to my parameters, look at my sketch, and here is my odd value. So what I'll do is create a dimension from point to point, knowing that that was five. And now I'm able to look back at that perimeter and I will create D3 over two. And that should split that value in half. And it's centered and will always be centered. So if I change this value to seven, the whole slot changes. Right now it's not sitting exactly on the x-axis or centered around the origin. To make sure that I can do that, what I'm going to do is place a point at the midpoint of this line and coincident that point to the origin. That should fully constrain my slot. I'm going to add my holes on the sketch. So I'll create a circle and I'll create a circle here with diameter of a half an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now I can extrude my part and I'm going to extrude this half an inch. As you can see, the part is centered on the x-axis this way and the y-axis this way. This will help me for my for centering the outside round of this part. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch and select my line tool. And what I need to do is draw on this particular plane in here. This is the Z and X plane, so I'm going to select it right here just to make sure. So now I'm actually drawing in the middle of my part. To make sure that I have drawn this correctly, I would like to make a arc with radius 1.75, so that's a diameter of 3.5. So to start, I'm just going to draw an arbitrary line and make it 3.5. Now this line, I'm going to coincident that midpoint to the center here. So I'll create a point 
right on the midpoint of this line. And I'll coincident this new line point to the origin. And I will use an arc or a circle tool. I'm going to use this center point arc, click this point, click this point, and bring my arc to this last point. So now I've got a full arc through my part. I want to make sure that this is fully constrained. So to make sure that this arc doesn't change, I need to make sure that this, this radius and then the distance here also stays the same. So I can do a couple things. Now I'm going to extrude my part. And I'm going to extrude this two sides or symmetric. In this case, I want both to be the same. And the total distance I want to uh, extrude this is 2.5. So I'm going to select my part, type 2.5. And I actually want the entire length to be 2.5 not half the length and this is going to be a join operation and that should finalize my extrude. The next operation is to create that square cutout and I'll use a two-point rectangle. I'll select this face. I'll draw on the baseline here and I know that it's going to have one inch height, two inch width and I'm going to use my midpoint tool here to center it on that origin. Next, I'll extrude this through, and I will go all. Make sure you go in the right direction, and hit OK. Right now, we've just created the basis for our bracket, and I'm going to create a hole on the top here for a set screw. To do that, it's difficult to drill a hole right through this round. So I could create a work plane, but I have a flat surface on the bottom. So I'll use my circle tool, select this bottom face, and I'll draw a 0.25 circle on the bottom. Now I can select that circle, click all, make sure it's going through the part, and I'll hit OK. There I've created that hole right through the part. At this point, I'm going to save my model.